hello guys um i made a mistake in answering this question and one of you uh, corrected me to say sir you made a mistake in solving c so let's redo it so we'll rewrite this one as 3x squared minus 4x then we'll say equals 15 passes this side becomes positive 15 then this x squared should have a coefficient of 1 or not 3 so to get rid of 3 we'll divide here by 3 equally here by 3 equally here by 3 so that 3 and 3 will cancel will remain with x squared minus 4 over 3x then is equal to 3 into 15 which will be 5 then we'll pick the coefficient of this x here which is the coefficient of this x is negative 4 over 3 then we'll multiply it by half which is 1 over 2 which will give us negative 4 times 1 it will be negative 4 over 3 times 2 it will be 6 then we'll pick this one square it so negative 4 over 6 will square it once we square it we add it to both sides of the uh, equation so we'll pick this one and say x squared minus 4 over 3 x plus this same one negative 4 over 3 then we'll square then equals 5 5 yes 5 plus again negative 4 over 3 uh, why am i saying 3 again when it is 6 it is 6 here and here also it is 6 then all we'll square then from there what we are going to do is to pick this and this so we'll say x squared then we'll say plus negative 4 over 3 squared then equals 5 plus to 4 squared 16 over 6 squared 36 okay then here we'll just pick x then because of this minus to be minus 4 over 3 6 i mean 4 over 6 so 4 over 6 like that then equals so this one will add so say over 1 common denominator here is 36 1 into 36, 36 36 times 5 which was 180 that's why i made the mistake there so 36 times 5 which is 180 so we are supposed to have 180 plus then 36 into 36 1 1 times 16 16 okay then okay that this which i'm doing here let me do it here so that we can have a space here so we have 36 so here we have 180 plus 16 yeah then we'll continue like that so say x minus 4 over 6 like that equals so add 180 plus 16 which is giving us 196 so we have 196 over 36 okay here we have squared then we'll get rid of the square as we said by introducing the square root to this side and also this side the square root but here we'll add plus or negative so this and that will go so have x minus 4 over 6 is equal to so say the square root of 36 1 uh, 96 so say square root of 196 which is 14 so have here 14 over then the square root of 36 will be 6 so here we have positive and the negative then from there this will shift the other side so have x 
is equal to positive or negative 14 over 6 then this one will become positive 4 over 6 then I'll say okay x is equal to so we'll pick the positive first so we'll say 14 over 6 plus 4 over 6 or we'll say we'll pick now the negative negative 14 over 6 then plus 4 over 6 okay that is the x okay then we'll add this so we'll say okay here we'll say x is equal to common denominator is 6 6 into 6 which is uh, 1 1 times 14 14 we'll put the plus here 6 into 6 1 1 times 4 4 so I have 4 there or we'll say x is equal to the common denominator again is this 6 6 into 6 1 1 times c negative 14 negative 14 plus 6 into 6 1 1 times 4 4 so then we'll say x is equal to 4 plus 14 plus 4 it will be 18 over 6 or we'll say x is equal to so here 14 negative 14 plus 4 it will be negative 10 over what over 6 so we'll continue so we'll say x is equal to 8 6 into 18 3 or we'll say x is equal to 6 into negative 10 it will be negative 1 okay remainder 4 over 6 yeah so if you want you can reduce this okay you can further reduce this one so you can say x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 1 then 2 into 4 2 2 into 6 3 so you can now have 2 over 3 as your final answer so this is how we are supposed to answer in this case if you have not made a mistake okay so thank you very much for the correction that you made this is how we should have answered this question all right for now bye